not a spring chicken. Okay. You know, the president is being warned. He's being warned by a lot of his advisors and people that aren't advisors. Okay, don't do what you're planning on doing. Look at those executive orders. Like that sometimes? Well, let's just say, maybe you don't need to knock on wood, but, you know, sometimes you need to listen to your advisors. Because when things get overturned, hmm, what is that in your face? Well, for now, we're going to bring old Kim on with comments on the headlines of the day. And it's all over for the Republicans. Well, I, that's why they said that the President of the United States is going to crush the Republican Party and sweep the Democrats into total control of the House and Senate with his actions on immigration, gun control, climate control. I mean, they're they're directly blaming the President of the United States on the, on the loss of con loss of contracts for Boeing to the oh, Dream yes? Liner because of his continued interference with the labor problems of Boeing. They're blaming him for a loss of, uh, loss of jobs to, to the Chinese because of his interference with companies. And they said it's just one thing after another that they're blaming him. And like this morning, he's going, he's going to a state that's a red state and going to be preaching the Republicans are not bipartisan, so I'm going to have to do this on my own. And the Democrats in the state aren't even going to show up at his thing today because they're running from this guy, you know, like he's got the plague at the moment. Because his, his, they said that his, his approval rating is actually lower than the Democrats in the state of North Carolina. Mm -hmm. And Obama is to take charge to get things done. I know. I mean, the Supreme Court has told him not to do it. His advisors are telling him not to do it. But the people on the extreme left are saying, We've got to get these things in motion so that when the people see all the good that's being done, that uh, that they will uh, give us some overwhelming majority in the House and Senate. Well, the House has been written off, and they think they're going to lose. They will lose at least six seats in the Senate, no matter how it goes. So it's why the Democrats, when they were in charge, removed the filibuster rule so that they can control with 51 votes, that being the vice president. And a health care website frustrates Spanish speakers. Yeah, they, uh, it doesn't work. It, it, another thing, they spent like $125 million for this one, and it doesn't function at all. And they're not going into the offices because they don't want people to know where they're at. Mm -hmm. So, uh, it, you know, it, it's just ridiculous. Nothing works, and they keep spending money on it. And can the federal government decide who is legally married? No, they can't because the constant it says they're using part of the Constitution it says equal protection under the law. There's also part of the Constitution that says the government cannot uh, interfere in a person's religious rights, and that means their viewpoints. If you don't believe in gay rights, the government cannot force you to believe it, and it cannot force you to do anything to do that. There's nothing, and this is what the, I mean right now. The President of the United States is shooting the United States. Okay, we had oil contracts cut with a country because he threatened the people over gay rights, and they're a Muslim country, so guess what they did? They just sold their oil to China this morning. Oh, they did? Yep. And Bulgaria warns the UK's Cameron over isolationist immigration. Well, yeah, because they're basically... Uh, B Bulgaria doesn't allow immigrants into their countries, and the, and the Cameron thinks that we should have all the people in our country that's illegal as they, and well, they want to come in. Unfortunately, the people are wanting them all tossed out of the country. I mean, you have to understand, it was the British that created slaves that they brought to the, all the world, folks. So it wasn't mm -hmm. anybody else, it was the British. Mm -hmm. So they're very mm -hmm. racist in Britain. And Oregon Obamacare website doesn't work at all. They spent $125 million to get it to work. Now they just spent $125,000 for a, for a survey to find out why it's not working. And now they're going to try to find, uh, got to, they're going to spend $250,000 to look for people that can make the website work. And, uh, they, you know, they, first of all, how do you spend $125 million on a state-owned website? Well, they've got like 200 and some people signed up in Oregon, folks. Mm -hmm. And San Francisco Transit Union leaders reached deal. Yeah, well, because they'd already reached deals twice and decided they didn't like it. So what they did was they signed for, they agreed to less than what they were originally offered, which is generally what happens when you agree to a contract and then buck decide you don't like it. Well, that's what happens? Yeah. And court set to rule on forcing California to ease the prison crowding. Well, yeah, because they're just going to order people out onto the streets. 
You know, the problem is that, that you, there's no money to, okay, the Democrats are not going to build new jails, and they feel that drug, you know, the drug offenses aren't offenses, and they feel that people, you know, that if you're a minority, you shouldn't be there. So it's, that's, those are the people that are being let out on the streets. Hmm. In California, Bill seeks to regulate homemade guns. I know. Basically, they, uh, you have to get permits, and you have to do this and that. They're trying to explain, well, no, it's not. It has to do with uh, with 3D guns, of which nobody is manufacturing because it's too expensive. 3D guns? Yeah, they, yeah. but no, but that's not, it doesn't say 3D guns. It says home manufactured, which basically they ran into a wall real quickly because they got to, it, it basically, most gunsmiths work out of their homes. They don't work out of businesses because they, they do the, a, a gun can take up to a year to produce and that is called a home built gun and they want it regulated where you have to get permits, you have to have your business inspected, OSHA has to come in. What? Yeah, and it basically, even though it's one person business that they will, it's meant by the Democrats to put uh, put gun building out of business in California. Mm -hmm. And um, gay marriage ban considered by Indiana lawmakers. Well, you know, what happens is is that the, the voters keep voting. There has never been a vote for gay marriage that, that went through. They've lost every 38 consecutive votes and the court system is overturning each, con each constitutional vote and they can't do it. That people have a right to write their own constitutions, and the federal court is saying, "No, you don't," mm -hmm. which is going to the Supreme Court. And the House Republicans voice support for 1.1 trillion dollar spending bill. Oh yeah, because they're okay. Here's the guy said last night. He that you said like Lou Dobbs, you've got to, to to stop this infighting. You have to, you know, to uh, one of the guys said. In other words, if. It said if, if Boehner drops his pants and said, kiss my ass, that's what I'm supposed to do. That's what you're insinuating. He said, no, you have to agree to stop fighting. He said, in other words, if, if Senator McConnell unzips his pants and tells us to suck it, that's what we're supposed to do. And he said, no, that's not what I'm saying. He said, that's exactly what. He said, we have our viewpoints and they're being totally ignored. He said, we gave the people the money to get elected and what did they do? They, they basically killed the sequester Put the put the sequester off for 20 years, and it now spent 1.1 trillion dollars, and, and didn't cut one single penny out of it. They said that's not what they were elected to do. And final amnesty to foreign Greenpeace activists leaves Russia. Well, they just tossed them out of the country. Basically, that's what happens. Eventually, they throw them in the worst jail possible, and then toss them out. And then if they come back the next time, they go to Siberia. Mm. And Kerry seeks to bridge U.S.-Russia gap with potatoes. <coughs> well, that, okay, vodka is made from potatoes, folks. Oh. Yeah, that's basically, it's a, it's a joke. They're not, first of all, the Russians, are, they're, they just tossed a reporter out yesterday. They're basically tossing a lot of people. They said um, the Russians may actually prohibit all of these gay rights people from coming into their country because the President of the United States being an asshole basically is not going to the Soviet Union for the Olympics because he's making a stand on gay rights and says they have to recognize gay rights. Well, anybody, the Greek Orthodox religion does not recognize gay rights. The Muslim religions, which is a great part of the Soviet Union, do not recognize gay rights. Three quarters of the world does not recognize gay rights and you can't force those people to change their religious viewpoints because you don't believe in religion. And that's what they said, 94% of liberal Democrats do not believe in religion. And Carrie seeks to merge a U.S. or Russia gap with potatoes. I know, she liked that when she said it twice. I know. Was what, well, because with Windows 8 tanking hard, Microsoft preps Windows 9. Windows 9. Yeah, they've already abandoned 8 because it's a farce. I, mean, I put 8.1 on and 8.1 doesn't work. Oh, you did? Yeah, it doesn't work. I just have, I get back, I, I have to open it up like you would the, under Windows 8 and then you can get to the start screen and ignore it. But what happens is every time you sign off of anything on a start screen, it goes back to that cruddy screen that no one likes whatsoever. And two women ticket in Texas goes for history in 2014. Oh, yeah. They're going to have a, a woman governor and a woman lieutenant governor both running. They're both abortion rights and gay rights supporters and anti-religion running in Texas. I mean, they haven't got a chance whatsoever. And a Monty bubbleism for the Mark Twain of the animal kingdom. Okay, when when you're uh, wrong and all you can do is laugh at the other people that are right, you know, it just shows you how big a fool you really are.